welcome to study with sudhir and my name is tejasvi yuma sudhir today we are going to be solving the mcq section in your icc class 10 board exam 2023 question paper so let's start so now in this video i'm going to be telling you the answers for the mcq section for your computer applications paper today um so let's start off with question 1 a mechanism where one class acquires the properties of another class that's a direct definition type of question and the answer is b that is inheritance right let's go on to the next question identify the type of operator and and the answer could be logical operator let's go on to the next question the scanner class method used to accept words with space the answer would be next line that is the b option 3b the next question says the keyword used to call package in a program is nothing but import that is option c so the answer for the fourth question is c you use import say java.util.star then you go to the fifth question what value with will math.sqrt uh, math.seal 15.3 return so what happens is math.seal of 15.3 will be 16.0 and math dot sqrt of 16.0 is nothing but root of 16 which is 4 so the answer for the fifth question is c that is 5c 4.0 the uh, sixth question says the absence of with statement leads to fall through situation in situate statement the answer for this question will be b that is break statement state the type of loop in the given program for int i is equal to 5 i is not equal to 0 i minus is equal to 2 and system dot out dot print ln i <coughs> So the loop will keep going five, then three, then one, then minus one, and it is so. The answer for this particular question will be B. That is, it is an infinite loop. Let's go on to the eighth question. Write a method prototype named check, which takes an integer argument and returns a car character. So therefore, the answer for this particular question, that is question number eight, will be D. That is, cat check int x because you're taking a parameter x. Ah, uh, which is an integer argument, and ah, uh, you're returning a character. So, char check. So, the answer for eighth question is D. Then, going on to the ninth question, the number of values that a method can return is, um, it is uh, repeated ah uh, time and again that a method can return only one value. So, the answer for the ninth question is A. That is one. <coughs> Let's go on to the tenth question. Predict the output of the following code snippet. String P is equal to twenty. Q is equal to twenty-two. Int a is equal to integer dot pass int of p. Int b is equal to integer dot value of q. System dot out dot print ln a plus space plus b. So therefore, uh, string p uh, using the integer uh, pass in you get twenty. So the answer for this particular question, question number ten is b twenty twenty two, right? The string class uh, method to join two strings is concatenation. Concatenation is the um, operation. So therefore, the answer for this particular question, eleventh question, is a concat of string because you uh, um, pass a string value and then you uh, use the concat method. So the answer for eleven is a. The next question, twelfth question on your screen is the output of the function composition dot substring three comma six is. So um, so we uh, as you very well know in a string it starts from zero one two three. So uh, the answer for the twelfth question will be B. That is P O S because third, fourth, and fifth character will be the only characters as the output. So the answer for the twelfth question is B. That is P O S. Going on to the thirteenth question, int x is equal to int of thirty two point eight. That is an example of what type of typecasting. So since um. Integer is lower than thirty two point eight. Therefore, it is explicit type of type costing. So the answer for the thirteenth question is C. That is explicit. Fourteenth question: The code obtained after compilation is known as. The answer for this particular question is D. That is Java byte code fourteen D. Let's go on to the fifteenth question. Missing a semicolon in a statement is what type of error? You must have seen me repeating this time and again in every video of mine. So, um, when you're missing a semicolon, the answer for the fifteenth question is B. That is a syntax error. Let's go on to the sixteenth question. Sixteenth MCQ question in your question paper. Consider the following program state segment and select the output for the same. Let n is equal to ten. Switch case n. Case ten. System dot order print ln n into two. That is n into two. Ten into two. That is twenty. There's no break statement. Please keep. Uh, in mind case four system dot out dot print ln n into four break then default 
default is considered when none of the cases uh, is true. So since break statement is not given, the answer for the for, for, for this question is 20 and then 40. Since it's system dot out dot print ln, therefore it is a two different uh, line. So 20, then 40. So the answer for the 16th MCQ is A. Let's go on to the 17th question. A um, uh, method which does not modify the value of variables is termed as a pure method. So the answer for the 17th question is B, that is pure method. Uh, 18th question, when an when object of a wrapper class is converted to its corresponding primitive type, data type, it is called as, it is called as unboxing. So for the 18th question, the answer will be C, that is unboxing. Uh, 19th question, the number of bits occupied by the value A are... Uh, so A is a character type variable. So it is of uh, two bytes and one byte is eight bits. So two into eight, that is 16 bits. So therefore the answer for the 19th question is D, that is 16 bits. Let us go on to the last and final MCQ in your question paper. A method which is a part of a class rather than an instance of a class is termed as what? So the answer for this particular question, 20 is A, that is static method. With this, we come to the end of the MCQ section in your question paper for your computer applications. Um, do write in the comment section how much you are scoring out of 20. And um, do um, subscribe to Study with Sudhir for more um, uh, tips, tricks and help as far as your ICC class 10 board exams are concerned. Thank you so much for watching.